Who's up for some football out here? That's right, we talking man 2002. Now, of course, um, the Super Bowl is coming around, so I'm going to play a lot of Super Bowl games, which include the Chiefs and Buccaneers. Please kick it. By the way, I'm switching at halftime. I don't know if you're going to see that or not. But yeah, should be fine. Um, yeah. And we're going to talk Cleveland Cavaliers and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Because those are two good games. I wish I had a capture card. I really wish I did. But you know what they say, beggars can't be choosers. Cleveland Cavaliers, here were the stats heading into today. We are at Madden Stein Stadium. Madden Stein, you know, like Frankenstein. Ooh, good tackle there by Warfield. Yeah, Madden Stein Stadium. Capacity zero. That is 22,500 less fans than Super Bowl 55. It'll be the smallest Super Bowl crowd of all time because... Yeah, the coronavirus is like really bad and we all should do our part and wear a mask. I wear a mask, you should too. Anyways, Cavs stats heading into last night's loss to the Lakers. Young Bull has 25.5 and Darius has 5 points assists per game. What in the wide world of sports just happened? I didn't even touch it. Okay, it wasn't me. Or it must have been me. Me being stupid. Andre Drummond has 14.5 points per game. Green goes down to 36 yard line. 14.5 points per game. Or no, 14.5 rebounds per game. I stand corrected. Excuse me for that. 14.5 rebounds per game from Andre Drummond, the best center in the NBA. Larry has 2.3 points per game. Oh, the control is acting up again. Don't worry. I got it. So, there's work done. What is he good for a uh, first down? All right, fouls per game. Colin Sexton, the young boy, has 3.4. I'll have to give this thing a little bit of a slap, a bit of a hit, and hopefully the controller will be working now. For those that don't pay attention to the Cavs, you would definitely be pleased to hear that they beat um, one of the best teams in the NBA back-to-back. -back. That's right, we beat the... Brooklyn Nets, who would think I would never have expected it? We beat the Brooklyn Nets. First game was 147-135 in double overtime. Young Bull, that's right, we talking Colin Sexton. 42.5 assists, because you know why? Colin Sexton is a very selfless basketball player out there. The Alabama point guard has just been doing fantastic all season long. On third down, we may want to bring on the... More linebackers again, that 3-4 set. Um, but yeah, he also had five rebounds. Our good pal, Jetty Osman, had 25 points and seven rebounds and seven assists. Toreen Prince in his Cavs debut put up 17. And uh-oh, he dropped it. More drops, the easy first down pass. There it is again, replay. Has it right in his hands and nope, I dove. Looks like Trent Green and I think, no, Priest I think was in Baltimore, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, KD, Kevin Durant had 38 points. Kyrie Irving in his homecoming, 37 points. I'll tell you one thing, world be flat as people jokingly call him because of his beliefs on the world being flat. Um, he was a great football basketball player from Australia too. James Harden, triple-double. We were up by 14 at one point. They almost came back. And by the way, we do have Priest Holmes, which is really good. We'll see. We're going for Alexander. And I didn't, didn't see McFarland. That's Bugger. That is Bugger. He did get the sack there. But most importantly, they lost yards on the sack. Probably one of the many Boogerisms there are in this world. Bugger is on ESPN, of course. What a great catch there by Priest. Uh, yeah, and that's lost the lead in the first overtime. But anyways, the one issue with this game is that you cannot spin or do any of the skill moves unless if you stop sprinting. I've never liked that, and thank goodness Man 3 changes that. First down, Trent Green's hurt. Trent Green is hurt. At least it looked like he was hurt. I want to see replay on that. 
Notice he goes down and... Yeah, he's down. I'll take it. Anyways, we beat the Nets again. 125-113. 25 points and 9 assists for the young bull. 19 points, 16 rebounds for Andre Drummond. Jared Dallin, 19 points in his second Cavs game. I have him on my fantasy team. I have not just him a uh, second time. I've gone in the backfield. Or I've been sacked today. Buccaneers had one heck of a defense back then. Kyrie, 38. Harden had 19 points and 11 assists. And we really ran away within the second half. We'll see what we can do here. Trent Green needs to throw that, and he throws it to Parker for a first down. Gets away from two, tries to juke him out, and we up to midfield. Dick Vermeil, their coach at the time, very happy with, of course, Dick Vermeil, great coach. Took the Eagles to the Super Bowl in 1980, retired, and became a color commentator. Came back from retirement to be on the greatest show on turf, and that's definitely not what he expected. It is raining there. Who knows? It might be raining down in Tampa. We lost Sunday night to the Celtics, 141-103. Seven cast players had double digits, including Jarrett. He had 12 points and seven rebounds. Oh, God. I wasn't even walking there for me. I was looking at my screen. <laughs> oh, man. Trent Green, three for three today. But you know what? He really needs to get some going out here. Third down. And, yeah. Jalen Brown, 33 for Boston. Kemba, 21. Carson Edwards, 18 off the bench. And Celtics have 41 point lead at the time. It was a blowout, but you know what? It's all right, I guess. After all, we did beat... Oh, no! Please go hold on. Derek Brooks got there. You know what? We did win back-to-back -back against Nets. And then we lost back-to-back -back against the Lakers. And then the Celtics, of course, last night. LeBron James was cooking... 46 points. He had 8 rebounds. Anthony Davis, 17 points, 7 rebounds. Please take a generous bounce. And it does take a generous bounce. Bush picks it up at the 8-yard line. You gotta love Andre Drummond, however. 17 rebounds, 25 points. Jetty had 20. Young Bull, 17 points, plus 6 assists. And we took the lead at the end of the third, but golly, Nads. LeBron was just sizzling hot. Yes, he, he, he definitely enjoyed it. Uh, of course, before the game, he and Kevin Love did their handshake before they um, head out um, back years ago when LeBron and Kevin Love were both there. Man, oh man, that game made me really miss LeBron. I mean, imagine how we'd look with um, not just this good core, what by Andre Drummond, Young Bull, Darius, uh, Isaac Okoro, you know, Larry Nance Jr., but if we had LeBron... <laughs> But still, the fact that we're still winning without LeBron goes to show you how really swiftly that... Uh-oh, he forgot the football. No, he did not forget the football. You know, I know that. I'm going to challenge that. That was an incomplete pass. That had to be an incomplete pass. But yeah, college basketball as we hit Tommy's picks. That has to be an incomplete pass. Well, listen... Or maybe not. College basketball, UCLA. That's right, those Bruins. Left Cal and Ruins. We'll take the end of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Who knows? I doubt that's what the score is going to be when you have Brady and Mahomes. Get going. Colorado State took down Utah State 40 or 84 76. Syracuse beat B Tech. That's right. Um, at the Carrier Dome, 78 to 60. Toledo beat Kent State, 76-74. Here it comes, Brad Johnson looking to throw here in pressure. Will flat pass just out of the fingertips of Warwick. Warwick was with the Falcons too, I believe. Number two, Baylor taking down Oklahoma State, 81-66. By the way, Gonzaga number one in the country. Number 11, Creighton beat UConn 74-66. Navy wins the Army-Navy game 69-62. Man, he had so much time. And oh no, he got away from Dennis. And Dennis catches up and says, you are not getting the first down. Even like because he didn't. Might want to blitz here. Third down, Brad Johnson, 3 for 8 today. Ohio State, they've had a great season basketball. 74-62. 
Milwaukee took down Cleveland State in big upset in overtime, 81-80. Definitely a little sad for the Cleveland State Vikings fans out there. And Woods just comes in and denies work done of getting something going out there. Oregon State took down Oregon 75-64. West Virginia beat Texas Tech 88-87. And meanwhile, Arizona, that's right, we're talking the Wildcats. They beat the Sun Devils 80-67. And Boylock doesn't catch it as that ball flies out of bounds. NFL Conference Championship Games. Well, if you know who won them, Tampa and Kansas City. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing Tampa, Kansas City. Who knows, maybe I would, but probably not. Priest going towards the right side, staying in bounds, first down. Priest Holmes got like 12 yards on. See, I'm going to give it to Priest a second time. Buccaneers beat the Packers 31 26. Tom Brady is going to his 10th Super Bowl. I think I have to say that because most football players are very lucky to get to one Super Bowl. Pre or no, Tom Brady going to. 10. Rondé got the tackle, by the way. Rondé was really good. Tony Dungy was Tampa's coach, I believe. So yes, for the first time ever, the Super Bowl will be at one of the team's play or home spots. Oh, Sylvester Morris with the reception. First down up to the 41-yard line. Good pass right there to Morris. Still a scoreless contest. Yeah. Chiefs beat the Bills. Bills Mafia fans definitely going crazy still there. Still... Probably going to be breaking a lot more tables next year. Oh, no! Rice with the recovery. Well, college basketball, I'm pretty happy with what happened. 9 and 3, 10 points. And that's been my best week so far. Definitely much better than my, uh, you know, what is it again? Oh, yeah, 6 and 5, 7 points or 8 points. No, no, no. 9 and 3, 10 points. 34 24 record this season, not to mention 41 points. And I went 1 and 1. I picked uh, Packers and Chiefs. One of them happened. Ooh, thank God he came in there and said no. Otherwise, that would be bad. You know, it said that the capacity of this team is zero. Yeah, I'm hearing the fans. Well, Tommy's picks, and for the first time in a while, we're going to. Give away our picks for high school football because it is indeed a Tuesday night. So I'm going to play Brunswick. Hold on a minute. He didn't. He caught it. Just didn't get it. And they're going to punt it. I would go for it here. The Royals going to be out for his third punt today. I'm picking the Comets to win that. Cleveland Heights against Garfield Heights. Going to pick Cleveland Heights. My walk of the week. Um, don't feel that. Hopefully it. Doesn't take a generous bounce, but it actually does. Quarles fields that one at the five. Or downs it at the five. This is not where you want to be, my friends. Yeah, Medina and Bowen B should have the lack of the week. Hoban against Walsh. Going to pick the Knights for what should be a good one. As Priest is going to try Plows away for three yards. Uh, McKinley, number seven, should take down Massel and Perry. And my upset of the week, you got to like Copley. I've always thought that they have a good basketball team. Even though they're not ranked against number 8 Mass 1 Jackson. I'm going to pick those Copley. Or yeah, going to pick Copley out there. Wadsworth against Aurora. Greenman should come away with that victory. Glen Oak should beat Hoover. Woodridge should beat Ravenna. And Lake Catholic should beat Madison. Holmes going to try to get enough. And nope, that's not enough. Well, if you're KC, at least you get the ball second half. And if I don't get it here, if it's fourth down in inches, you know I have to punt it. It'd be stupid for me to go for it. And, yeah, I am going to have to punt it. I mean, you could go for it, but if you don't, you give Tampa some points. College basketball. Kent State against Bowling Green. Going to pick those Kent State Golden Flashes. Wisconsin will beat Maryland, even though they are on the road. And Maryland is a good team. Not as good as Wisconsin, in my opinion. And he's not going to feel that. Defense bearing down on him there. Got Summerall and John Madden. Uh-oh. Kraken needs to get there. 
Upset of the week's going to be Illinois beating uh, the Iowa Hawkeyes. Boise State should take down Colorado State, but that's just me. Anthony got enough for the first down there. And Gramatica is their kicker, I believe. Uh, yeah, Oklahoma against Alabama going to pick the Sooners. Even though that's number 24 against number 9, the lower ranked 24 Sooners, I think, will come away with a win there. Oh, Moore doesn't have to be a jerk, but he did. And the clock is still running. Still needs to get up. Well, kind of a sluggish game out here. Block of the week is going to be Clemson taking down Duke. So they have one timeout left. They're well in field goal range. And what Kansas City needs here is a turnover. Akron's going to beat Ball State. Oklahoma State should beat Arkansas. Virginia Tech should beat Virginia. Kansas should beat Tennessee. By the way, there's the SEC Big 12 Challenge. Is anyone going to catch up to work done? Exactly, that's what I thought. But yeah. Oh, but yeah, that's why Oklahoma State is playing Arkansas. Why Oklahoma is playing Alabama. That is why Tennessee is playing Kansas. It's pretty exciting. Because I've always enjoyed that about high school. As Keyshawn walks in the end zone and finally... Took us 9 minutes and 24 seconds, but we finally have ourselves <laughs> some points out here in this game. 7 nothing. Yeah, of course you have the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Always fun to see that. Which conference wins? Uh, so we'll make them try to attempt that again. I know it's Grammatica, but still. See, so yeah, I pick... Kansas, number 15, take down number 18, Tennessee. And of course, Virginia Tech should beat Virginia. Even though that's number 20 against number 8, the lower seed in number 20, uh, Virginia Tech should win. And speaking of rivalries, there's Washington, Washington State. I have Washington State because Washington is not that good. I'll have to admit that. But I'm still early on the season, I'm just saying. And finally, to close out Tommy's picks today, number 10, Texas Tech against number 24, Oklahoma. While Oklahoma, I think, should win um, against Alabama, I'm unsure about them beating Texas Tech out here. I'm going to pick the Red Raiders. I don't know. That's just my gut feeling. Well, we did it. We got through Tommy's picks. Another strong episode. Um, of course, I haven't... I'm not even close to the ending of it. Good catch by Tony. Could he stay in bounds? I don't think he could. Oh, he could. He did. Yeah, I would show you the whole game, but I think we're taking a little too long out here. I'm so sorry about that. You know, I was thinking um, maybe I play all the games in a series for you, but nah, I don't think so. Well, here we go again. Third down and seven to go. 25 ticks left. And not just the quarter, but also the half. 7 nothing. Trent Green is in some hot soup. Trent Green takes off. And a first down. How about that? Some, as uh, 2K5 likes to call it, some last minute razzle dazzle. Of course, I have Trent Green on my 2K franchise. I've had my 2K franchise for a few years now. Get a hot route, Sylvester, on this play. Sylvester, please catch that. Oh, that would have been a fantastic catch. They were both in the same catching animation out there. And the only thing that caught that was a green, no, brown, muddy grass. Drink green, five for eight. Been somewhat accurate, I guess one might say. Gonna try hit Sylvester again. And again, he hits him a little too far out. Well, we'll try it again. Except not Morris. I want to go with Alexander maybe on this play. Have him hot routed going out deep. Eight seconds to play. Looking to throw. Going to find his way. And oh my God, they keep on breaking up every pass. Go for the Hail Mary here. Probably going to... There is no Hail Mary. There is no Hail Mary on this play. That is sad. Or in Dick Vermeule's playbook. What is Dick Vermeule's playbook then? I have no clue. I'll take us a half. I think I'm going to sign off. Good pass. 
Just can't find it. I switched teams I have, by the way, because that's only fair. Yes, I know. It gets rid of the Madden Challenge. It's so sad. And that's it, Tommy Marine Sports Show, WCTV. And I'm Horror Sports Network. Like button, subscribe button, bell icon, WCTV. Hope you know it. Be careful, be safe, Rip Kobe. It's been a year now. Been one long year without him. Probably kicking behind and one-on-one -on -one up in heaven. Rip Kobe, of course. And goodbye!